Okay, here we're going to look at an example involving work and rates to get a job done. So we've got Letitia and Ricky. They work for a computer software company. Together they can write a program in 19 hours. Letitia can do the program by herself in 32 hours. We want to know how long it would take Ricky to write the program all by himself. The equation that we can use here, if we look at the rate per hour of one of the people, if we multiply that by the total time to get the job done, plus we look at the rate per hour of the other person multiplied by the total time, that equals 1. So maybe the, uh, the first person here, we'll, we'll uh, let that represent Letitia. So by herself, Letitia can, to, can write the program in 32 hours. So that means her rate per hour, she could do well, 1 over 32. We said the total time for them working together to get the job done, the total time was 19 hours. We don't know the rate of the second person, of Ricky, we'll, so we'll call that 1 over x. Again, x will represent the number of hours it would take for him to do it alone. So just like it took Letitia 32 hours, her rate was 1 over 32. Uh, his rate will be 1 over x. Again, we multiply that by the total time, which is 19, and that equals 1. So now we've got our equation to solve. We have 19 over 32 plus 19 over x equals 1. So now what I'm going to do is just subtract 19 over 32 from both sides. Okay, so we would have 19 over x left on the left. Okay, we've got fractions. We can make 1 into 32 over 32. So we've got 32 over 32 minus 19 over 32. That's going to leave us with 13 over 32. And now what we're going to do is cross multiply. So I'm going to take 19 and multiply that by 32. So 19 times 32, that gives us 608. I'm going to multiply x times 13, which will give us 13x. And now simply let's divide both sides by 13. We'll be left with x on the right side. And 608 divided by 13, I'm getting this to be roughly 46.77. So it says it's going to take Ricky uh, about 46.77 hours if he were to do this task by himself.